stage six. This is the nastiest of the fighting levels. Mainly because there's lots of fights to get through and very little food. In this loop I was fortunate enough to get through the driving levels without dying. Meaning I got to keep my weapon. Having a weapon in this area is a godsend because these knife fighters are very nasty and also very uh, timid. It helps to be able to hit them from far away. Again, just wait for them to move up into your shot. Or them. Above all, don't lose your patience. There's no reason to play fast unless you just want to end the game. Now, you're not going to see it here, but supposing you don't have the stick, go back to the jump kicking strategy I showed you in stage one. Just kick them in the back. First, you have to draw them out in the middle and hope they don't run away. But kick them in the back, and you should be able to get them to turn around so you don't get hit. They'll move quickly, though, so it's not foolproof. The best you can do is hope you get through all the fights until you can get to the food. Then later on, there's actually plenty of weapons. You just have to get to halfway through the stage in order to get them. are these very easy ball and chain swingers. They turn red every few seconds and throw. The rest of the time you're free to wallop on them at your leisure. You can usually get in five blows before you should think about moving out of his way. You can actually get in as many as six. Close to the food, so I figure it's time to just speed things up a bit. And here we are. The food is in the ball and chain swinger on the left. You have to make this one last a long time.